So we are, I am trying to make cream cheese from scratch for the first time. I happened to find, I was willing to make it this experiment because I found organic plain yogurt. Now, full fat would probably taste richer, but what they had on clearance was low fat. So I found it for only $1.49 and it still had until a few more days, like actually several more days left. Um, what, four days left, something like that. So I was like, I'll give it a go. I've been looking it up and what you do is you pour this into a strainer, a mesh strainer. A lot of people use plastic. I don't know if it really matters, but um, put that in a strainer over a bowl. I'll unwrap here. And I use this to kind of protect some of my yogurt. It's actually just the top of the yogurt. Whee! Looky there. So, let me put this over here, ever so gingerly. There we go. And let me wipe this off on here. Oof. And I let it sit in my fridge, covered like that, for 24 hours. Actually, this is technically more like closer to 30 hours because it's the end of the next day for me. But um, what has happened is underneath, we have a bunch of, well, I shouldn't say a bunch, actually. I didn't get that much, but that's whey and it's really good and healthy for you. So I'll be reusing that. I've used it already like in smoothies and you can use it in baked goods and things in place of water. Um, but it's a good pro probiotic, so. But what I'll do now is I'll squeeze this some more. Oh girl, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> I'm getting yogurt to come out of the sides. I told you. Ah, it's coming out the top. Just to get some more of that way out. <laughs> Reporting live from Mariah's Kitchen, do not repeat this. I repeat, do not ah, repeat what I did by squeezing this it. This is actually runnier than what the ones I've seen turned out to be, so I'm a little nervous that it's not going to turn out. But anyways, I have a glass container with a tight-fitting lid and another flour sack type towel. So I'm actually going to double this up because we're gonna try to get as much of this liquid out of this thing as we can. So just lining this guy here and using my little spatula guy here. Yeah, this is still very liquidy. Try not to be discouraged. At this point, I'm like second guessing everything, thinking about all the things that maybe led to this being so runny, maybe the thing on top, maybe my towel was too thick, all these things, but at the bottom, it actually was thicker than the stuff at the top, so maybe next time I will use a more shallow colander. And you know me, gotta use up every last little bit. No waste. All right, we'll even it out here. Trying to get into all those little nooks and crannies. Now the trick will be closing this guy up and we wanna do it in such a way that um, it makes for a tight seal. So we'll move this this way and that. And we'll move this one this way and back. This one in, and this one in, and we push down. Cause we're gonna try to push as much of that liquid out as we can. And we'll put this on nice and tight. <laughs> put 
this in for one week and we'll come back and see what it's looking like. One week later. And we're back, ready for the great reveal. It has been one week. And so let's see what we've done. Side note, I did turn this upside down um, a couple times in order to get uh, all sides, you know, flowing with moisture so that the towel would absorb the moisture better. I was at a bit of a loss of what to do here, so that's why I'm a little fidgety and not sure what to do. It did thicken up quite a bit to a nice consistency. Not quite as stiff as cream cheese I buy at the store, but a nice creamy texture. So, yeah, taste test was okay. Not great by itself, but okay. Time to try it on a bagel. It's my favorite thing to do with cream cheese, so had to try it. Hindsight says, take the couple extra minutes and just toast the bagel Mariah, but you know, hindsight Mariah wasn't there at the time. Look at that nice texture of that cream cheese. Really nice. And of course your girl needed that everything bagel seasoning. So, had to try it with that on it. Last thing, we needed to scrape it all off of the uh, flour sack there in order to save it for future use. It kept really well for me for uh, six days. I mean, I fin that's when I finished it. I don't know if it would have kept any longer. I probably wouldn't save it more than a week after this point, but who knows? So truth be told, not my favorite uh, cream cheese, and, but it would do in a pinch. So if um, the grocery store ran out of cream cheese or for whatever reason, I wasn't able to buy cream cheese, the kind that I like, it would work. And it was pretty good. And I actually ended up using most of it in a recipe that called for cream cheese. And it worked perfectly because it's super creamy and delicious. Uh, it just wasn't my favorite thing to eat raw. But I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I'm doing these DIY basics. Let me know if you have other um, basics that you are interested in making and, and what your experience has been like. What's easiest for you? Maybe what's most challenging? Um, for example, butter was super easy. I was not expecting it to be as easy as it was. Yogurt is turning out to continue to be a tricky thing to make, at least for me, in the two ways I've tried so far. I uh, have not wanted to film those because they did not work. <laughs> so if you have any tips or tricks on yogurt, uh, I'm here for it. And please don't make it take, you know, 16 hours and you know, $160 in equipment I do with stuff I have right now in my kitchen, tools that I have in my kitchen, and maybe just a couple of grocery items that might work in a pinch. So let me know. Please hit that like button, subscribe. It helps your girl out. You know, we like it over here. See you next time. Oh.